Episode 3, Future Planning. Betty, I'm home. I have great news for you. I'm in the kitchen, Joe. What'd you say? Hi, Betty. I dropped off at Bill's office today. He's been pretty proud of my accomplishments. I've almost made enough for our child's education. That's great, honey. Did Bill advise you for a safer investment plan from here on out? We need to be more careful. Uh, he's giving me some nonsense advice that doesn't even make sense. He told me to sell 75% because they're too risky. I'm not doing that. I'm going to look for more money to keep investing my way. Clearly, it's been working, Betty. Look, Joe, I know you've been so successful so far, but Bill knows what he's saying, and you have to understand that there's always positive and negative outcomes. I think his way is smart and ends on a positive note, and we don't know if your way will actually work. Betty, I've heard enough of this today. I'm going to bed. Joe, come on, don't be like this. At least have dinner with us. Good night, Betty. Next scene. Joe is driving to work and calls his wife Betty while he is in the car. Ba-ding, ba-ding. Hello. I'm sorry about last night. I just can't imagine losing it all, Joe. I'm scared. Betty, I just want you to be happy for, this, for us. I've worked so hard on this. I am happy for you, Joe. Just please listen to Bill. I won't. I'm on my way to the bank before work. I'm taking out a loan. Our child will be able to go to whatever college she desires, thanks to me. I'm not trying to fight about this any longer. We need to be conservative. We are a team, and we need to agree on this. This is our life, not just yours, Joe. Then stop going against our success. Just trust in me. I love you, Betty, and our family is my first priority. I sure hope so. Have a good day, Joe. She hangs up on him. Joe goes to work after accepting. Joe goes to work after accepting a pretty decent loan. He starts buying and buying and buying. He used the entire loan in under 10 minutes to get stock purchasing. The stock market is becoming a drug to Joe. He can't stop buying. Joe gets off work and heads home to his family, where Betty is sitting at the table with paperwork and a strict facial expression, waiting for his arrival. Uh, is everything okay? No. We need to set common grounds. Sit down with me, Joe. What is all this? I've done some research today. We're going to make a plan. A plan with goal-setting criteria. A plan that is specific, measurable, committed, realistic, and time-bound. Okay, this is great, Betty. Where do we start? We start with this criteria that is necessary to ensure that they will be able to have enough money saved for our child. I like the idea of this. Thank you so much, Betty. I'm glad we can work as a team. I did buy more stocks today, so we are well on our way very soon, Betty. Just stick to the plan, Joe. And please listen to what Bill has to offer. That is all I ask of you. I'm just so skeptical in this sudden interest of yours with the stock market, and I need you to have self-control and take in all your options. The married couple puts away their plan and heads to bed. 